Hello, it's Simon Zucci here, and in this property education video, I want to share with you the 10 top lessons from Property Magic Live 2023. Now, property Magic Live is a big event we do every year. Uh, this year, it was a hybrid event. We had about 100 people in the room uh, in London, and about 150, 200 around the country, and also around the world tuning in. And what I normally do, uh, a couple of weeks or a month or so after that event, I pull out some of the key learnings for people who weren't there. And I'm just putting that presentation together. It's gonna be like a 60 minute webinar, but I thought it might be really good to do a very quick 10 minute video for you, where I share some of the key distinctions and lessons. Now there are about 22 lessons I pulled out from that event, um, but I'm boiled it down to the top 10 lessons. I've been investing in property since 1995. I became financially independent at the age of 32 in 2001 and by 2003 I'd completely replaced my former salary and that's when I set up the Property Investors Network because I realized it was really difficult and lonely investing on your own and I started teaching other people how to invest so for 20 years now I've been teaching other people like you how to become a more successful investor and then in 2007 2008 I wrote this book called Property Magic it became an Amazon number one bestseller it was the first book to ever describe exactly how you buy a property no money down literally of no money at all and it worked and then the credit crunch came and the property market crashed and the particular method I described no longer worked in about May June 2008 so I had to rewrite the book and now I keep on updating it it's in the sixth edition right now because the property market keeps on changing and right now the property market's changing and I can tell you property magic live 2023 felt very much like the very first property magic live we did back in 2008 and I did that because the book was really popular and the market was crashing and everyone was worrying about is it a good time to invest or not and actually if you knew what you were doing 2008 during the last property market crash was a fantastic fantastic time to be buying property. So I ran this event, it was incredible, and we pretty much run it every year since. And so this video is all about the top 10 lessons from this particular year. So lesson number one from Property Manager Live 2023, it was just great to be back in the room running a live event. And we've been doing hybrid events for a year or two now, but we had more people at this event than ever before, and it's great to have people able to join us live online for our property training as well. But you know what, it was great to be in the room. And just the, the conversations over the tea breaks and the lunches and things, it's really, really powerful. So that's my first lesson, and I would really encourage you to get out to more events where you can educate yourself and connect with other people. Really, really important. Next, number two, was I talked about how important it is to have very clear written goals. If you want to be successful in life, you've got to know what you want, where you're going, to give yourself direction, clarity and focus. And so many people don't actually write their goals down. So you need to write your goals down and also have a really strong reason why you want them. What, what are those goals going to do for you? How is that going to change your life if you become a successful property investor and replace your income? Number three, I gave a market update. We talked about the fact that we've changed from a seller's market, we're now in a buyer's market, so the property market is coming down. We're seeing lots of landlords are selling up, uh, we're seeing property prices falling. And what does this mean? Well, does it mean you should sit by the side and wait? Well, no, actually, if you know what you're doing, now is a fantastic time to be investing in property. And that links nicely onto the fourth key lesson I got out of this uh, event, which was, all about how to become more decisive. Uh, successful people are decisive, they decide quickly. And here's a tip for you, um, when you're looking at property deals, you wanna to get to a no very quickly. Very often people waste a huge amount of time overanalyzing deals, shall I do it, shan't I do it? And actually what they need to do is get to a no quickly and move on to the next deal. Now if it's a yes, it looks interesting, then you could do a quick deep dive, do the necessary due diligence and make an offer on that property. You see, if you find a really good property deal, you need to move quickly. If you sit and think about something too long, you're gonna miss out on great opportunities. That links nicely to point five, where we talked about how do we find deals in the current property market. Now, normally, most property investors, especially beginners, they go to estate agents, they go to auctions, and there's nothing wrong with that. You can find opportunities there, but in a booming market, which we've had for the last 12 years, it's very difficult to get 
Estate agents take you seriously as an investor, they don't rate investors, and at auctions there's lots of people who go to property auctions looking for bargain properties. So in a rising market, those two strategies are not necessarily the best thing to do. I find it much better to go off market and look for properties that aren't actually on the open market available for sale, but people who still want to get rid of those properties. And they're the best people to work with. Now, because we've changed to this falling property market and lots of landlords are selling up, actually, estate agents now need us. They don't have uh, buyers queuing up ready to buy property. So estate agents, we should establish the relationships again with them. And also going to property auctions might now be a more valid strategy, particularly when a property doesn't sell in auction. The owner of that is going to be a pretty motivated seller and we can approach them after the auction and potentially buy that property. And as always, working direct uh, to sellers, direct to vendor, uh, particularly landlords using things like landlord letters can work very, very well. So that's the first five lessons. Now, lesson number six, and by the way, this is all on the first day still, by the way. Uh, lesson number six was for my good friend, Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Uh, he's the author of incredible books like this, 10X is Easier Than 2X, and he uh, actually came to, physically came to Property Magic Live about five years ago, uh, just before he released his first book, which was Willpower Doesn't Work. Now, I'm really new in them, but I actually met Ben uh, over in America. I'm a member of a couple of mastermind groups, not so much property, but more business, and I literally sat down next to Ben one day, didn't know who he was, we got on really, really well, and he did a short 10 minute presentation at that particular mastermind event. So I loved it, he blew the audience away, so I paid for him to come over to the UK, and we actually got into his very first speaking gig, and it was amazing. Five years on, he's got loads of international bestsellers, including Who Not How, uh, The Gap and the Gain. You should definitely read some of Ben's books. And then this very latest one, which is in uh, collaboration with Dan Sullivan of Strategic Coach. And um, Ben shared with us, uh, and a couple of concepts I want to share with you. And by the way, I'm, I'm preparing this webinar where I'm going to go into a lot more detail about all of these points. I was just trying to give you some of the, the quick highlights. Um, ben shared about what you really want to do is set yourself impossible goals. So you know I talked about having written goals. He said if you write impossible goals, you have no idea how you're going to achieve those goals. What that does, it forces you to think differently. It forces you to acquire new knowledge, to get new contacts, to achieve something at a much higher level than you've been performing at before. So I thought that was a really interesting point. And also, he points out that 10x is easier than 2x. And the reason is because when you, when you want to go 10x, you can't just do more stuff. You're not going to achieve that. You might get to 2x if you just do more things, but you'll get to the point of exhaustion, you'll get knackered where actually, if you want to achieve more and really go to the next level, you have to do less. Let me say that again. You have to do less. You cut out the 80% that isn't really moving you forward, and instead you focus on the 20% that gets you the results. So really powerful learning from Ben there. Uh, we then, uh, lesson number seven is, we can always gain inspiration by looking at other people. You know, I put a number of interviews on this YouTube channel of our successful investors, and I think it's really valuable to watch those people too, to build your belief about what's possible. If someone else has done what you want to do, it means it's achievable. And that will inspire you, and you can learn exactly what those people have done. So we had some of our successful students do inspirational case studies, and again, everyone in the audience was massively fired up and inspired by the stories they were hearing. Next, number nine, uh, I did a whole section about purchase lease options, which I believe are an incredible strategy you should absolutely be looking at and using during this current market conditions. Uh, I say strategy, but actually lease option agreements, they're more of a tool that you can use to control property. And what I mean by that is you can take control of a property, maybe from a tired or retiring landlord, they just don't want the property anymore. You take it on, you pay the landlord a certain amount each month, you rent it out for more money, so you make a profit on a property you don't own. And that's very similar to the strategy, which is rent to rent, but the benefit of a lease option agreement over and above rent to rent is you've also got the right to buy this property at some time in the future. So we set a price today, we've maybe got five or seven years to buy this property, and although property prices are coming down right now, we're seeing house prices falling, it's going to stabilize, it's going to start to go up because we live on this island with a limited amount of accommodation and increasing population. So in three, five, seven years, the value is going to be higher than it is right now, and yet you get to buy at today's price. So what this means is you get not only cash flow, 
you also get equity growth on property you don't own. And because you don't own it, it means you don't have to put big 25% deposits in. It means you don't have to get mortgages, which means they can done very quickly. So a lot of people who are at Property Magic Live and implementing what they're teaching, they are gonna be finding and securing deals that are gonna make cash flow before the end of this year. So pretty cool, right? And then lesson number 10, out of my 10 lessons, top lessons from Property Magic Live 2023, is that you can actually very quickly find deals online in your area right now using software like Property Filter. Property Filter is some amazing software that people who've done our training have then developed and we teach people how to find deals online and what to look for. They've taken all my lessons, put it into the software, which will literally save you hours and hours of searching for deals. And the secret is they look for these motivated sellers. They look for people whose circumstances are such they need to sell a property. They might be flexible on the price and all the terms. And you can even do things like find potential purchase lease options uh, through Property Filter as well. So incredible software um, and you should definitely check it out. Now I've taken these 10 lessons, I'm putting them into a 60 minute PowerPoint presentation. If you wanna come and listen in on that uh, free training, just click on the link below. There'll be a link in the description. You come and sign up for that. And I really think you should pick up some key learnings uh, from that training. Um, so I do hope you found this useful video. If you have, um, please do like the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified anytime I release uh, a video like this. Uh, particularly some of my videos are very timely. So if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification and you'll be able to get that information and be able to use it straight away to become a more successful investor. So I do hope this has been a useful video for you. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and make sure you click on the link below to come and join uh, the, the online training where I'm going to share in a lot more detail these 10 lessons from Property Magic Live 2023. As ever, I encourage you to invest in knowledge, invest with skill. I hope you enjoy the next video. Hey, it's Simon here. I do hope you've just enjoyed that video on YouTube. I hope you took lots of notes and more importantly, you're gonna take action. And what I'd encourage you to do is click on the link in the description below the video. I've got some live online training that's very relevant to the video you've just watched. Come and register for that training. Join me live online and you can actually get your questions answered live as part of that training. So take the opportunity to come and join me live online. Click on the link below and secure your spot before you miss today. Take action right now. As ever, I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill. Enjoy the next video.